guys, it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby. Welcome back. We are on day three for our sneak peeks. I'm gonna do the next product reveal that will be in your box of the month for April. The release day is April 1st at 9 a.m. Central Time. Day one, we revealed this a very cute stamp set. It's a six by eight stamp, stamp set called Oh Honey, and I'll be using it on my card today. We have the Coordinating Shabby Snips die that will be available for a separate sale on release day. So if you want the Coordinating die, head on over to the shop on April 1st, 9 a.m. Central Time. There will be limited quantities on the die. So I cut out the swing and this cute little girl. So if you want her sitting on the swing, you just pop her legs over and tuck her head behind the swing. So she's peeking out. Um, so that's gonna look really cute, colored up. So for today's card, I'm gonna use the swing and I'm gonna use today's reveal. So for today's card, I'm gonna use today's reveal product, which is a Call Me Crafty L stencil, and this is called Striped Honeycomb Background Stencil. What a cool design, I love it. So we're gonna use that behind the swing. I think that's gonna look really cute. Um, the cards I've done, these are with the stamp set. You can go back and watch the previous videos if you wanna see how I did those. And then yesterday's reveal, we revealed the paper and the coordinating ephemera. And then here I um, stamped out the Be Happy and I cut it out. So let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna create a window shaped card, maybe an oval and have this um, peeking from behind. Okay, so I have a card base cut at five and a half by five and a half. This panel here is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. We're gonna stencil on some color and then I'm gonna cut cut the um, center out with this oval and then I can add the image on the inside so let's see how I want my pattern so the center is going to be cut out so I'm gonna put my magnets in the center and let's see what color do I want to use let's see if I have a a light yellow. I think I want to use yellow and blue. And maybe we can create green in the middle. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my blue and do the top. And then we'll try to make green. There we go, it's turning green over there. So I'm gonna go cut out the center. So I'm gonna take the same colors and fill it in a little bit at the bottom and at the top. And then we're gonna do the blue. Then I'm gonna take some water and splash it right on there. Um, just some water droplets. It gives it a really cool effect. Kind of like a bleached out look. So I just have some water in my hand and I'm just gonna splash it right on. So I don't think the, my favorite things is water reactive. I didn't even think about that, but I do think that the Catherine Pooler inks are a little bit. You can see the splash marks. Or it could be because I have distress ink on, on my brush and it kind of went through. That's probably it. Okay, so then I'm gonna add some white splatters with some gouache, because I want the splatters. I love me some splatters. Okay, so let's get the white gouache out, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my acrylic block get a paint brush, water it down with some water, and then um, I let this dry and then I rehydrate it the next time I want to use it. I think I'm going to add, get my splatter box out so I don't get paint everywhere. So now I'm just going to tap my brush 
let those little drops fall. Let's use my block. There we go. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. Now I'm taking another five and a quarter by five and a quarter um, panel, and I'm just gonna use the leftover ink on my brush to create some soft clouds in the background. I'm just using a torn piece of paper. I think these make the most realistic looking clouds. And I'm just turning my paper different ways. Um, the trick to this is to leave white space at the top so, you're, um, so they look like clouds. You really don't need a lot of ink for this if you just want soft clouds. I'm not even re-inking my brush. But you can see those beautiful clouds. So now I'm just gonna fade this one. Just fade it off. So the swing looks like it has a sky background. And it's light enough to stamp your uh, stamp your sentiment. So, see, really pretty. Let me bring that up closer so you can see that better. Okay, I want to do one more splattering technique. I want to add some of this golden. What does that say? The bloom, the balloons, uh, color from Lindy Stamp Gang. It's like a gold color, and I'm just gonna take open this up and then just tap on some gold dots. Just do a little bit of splattering. I just want a few dots. I don't wanna go too crazy. But I wanted to bring in a little bit more color and the gold is going to match the swing um, when I color the swing brown so it's gonna bring in some of those brown tones so here are the colors that I grabbed I hope to do just some simple coloring so I grabbed the E04 for shading on the skin E11 E00 and E000 so I'm gonna start with the E04 and do it, uh, do some shading under her hairline. Give her some knees. And then I'm gonna do some right over her nose and on her little cheeks. Okay, so I'm gonna take the E11 and go over where I just colored and bring that color out, blending the two colors together. So now we'll do the E double zero. And then I like to just go over the everything that I've colored and just bring it out a little further. It just helps to blend it, I think. Now I'm just filling in the rest with the E triple zero. We're gonna give her some pink cheeks with R20. Forgot to grab that one. She got my R20 and I'm just gonna flick towards her lips with this R20. And then I'll do her lips and then I'm gonna get out the E triple zero 
and just kind of like blend out the edges. Okay, she looks cute. So let's um, color her little shirt yellow. I'm just kind of faded up with um, from dark to light. So I'm using Y17, then Y13, and then I'll do Y11. I'm gonna darken up those lines, those black lines. I should have stamped it a little bit more to get it more dark, but I figured I could just go over it. I'm gonna go over it with W9. Just darken those up a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna do that with her eye too. I'm gonna add some white jelly roll pen. And I'm gonna get my wet jelly roll pen and just give her a little dot back into her eye. That. And I always like doing little dots on her cheeks, little highlights on the cheeks, three little dots. I think it looks really cute. I'm going to do her little puffs on the top, yellow. And her wings I'm going to do blue to match my background here. So I've got uh, BG13 and BG11. I think I'm going to throw some green in there as well. Ooh, you know what would, be, what would what would look really cute is if I colored her hair blue. What do you think about that? All right, so let's do some fun coloring on her wings. Let's see, I've got uh, YG07 and YG06. And then I'm going to fade that out with BG11. Doesn't that look cute? So should I do her hair yellow or the blue color? I think she might look really cute with blue hair. Okay, let's try that. So I got BG13, BG11, and grab BG10. I'm gonna grab BG23. All right, so what's darker? Let's see, BG13 or BG23? I'm gonna use BG13 as my dark color. So I'm just going to add a few with the dark. This will just help her hair look curly. Let's see. I'm not doing any fancy coloring with the hair today. I'm just gonna keep it simple. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that BG23 and work this color in there. I'm not gonna think about it too much. Just add in little bumps. Leaving white space so my lighter color can 
fit in there. So BG11, let's bring this out even further. And I'll leave my ends for the lightest blue color. Okay, now my BG10. I'm just going to go over the whole thing with this. Okay, now I'm going to take the dark uh, BG13 and um, I got some skin color in here, so I'm just going to cover that up with this color. Okay, I think she looks cute. So now I'm going to take the white Jelly Roll pen and do a little bit of dots on her wings. A few little dots on her hair. And I forgot her shoes. Let's add some yellow to her shoes. There you go. I think she is done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the swing really quick. I'm just going to play some music. I'm going to pop this panel up, so I could make this into a shaker card if I wanted to, but I think I'm just going to make it like a window card. I want to stamp my sentiment right there, so I'm going to stamp it before I put this panel on. And the sentiment says, I will always be there for you. And I also want to stamp out this cute little bee, like he's buzzing around. So I'm going to stamp it. Let's see, she's going to be swinging in on an angle. So I'm just going to stamp it right there. Now I can take my... Uh, Pen and do a little drawing, add a little bee trail if I wanted to, but let's see, I might not need to do that. And a little blue to the wings. Just the BG11. Oh, and I got some ink on there. Hopefully my panel will cover it. Okay, I'm gonna um, not add the trail. So let's position her, maybe I could... Okay, I'm gonna glue these two together. So I'm just gonna add a little glue to the swing. I'm gonna make sure we can see her eyes. Okay, I think that's a good spot. All right, I'm gonna mark it with my little pick here. Add some glue to the back. 
Let's hurry up and make sure that's the right position. Yes. All right, I can press that down. Since the ink is not covered up, I'm just gonna take my white Jelly Roll pen and just cover that, try to cover that up. Okay, I'll just add like a sequence or something. <laughs> so I'm gonna add this. Okay, now to center this perfectly. Let's see which way the e which is the easiest way. That's gonna have to do. It's just off just a tiny tad. Not bad though. Okay, so let's add some glue to the back of this. And I pull out the bumblebee blue confetti mix that you received in a previous box from I think it was last year. We've got some yellows in here and gold, so I really want to use some of that gold. There's some bumblebees in here. That would have been cute for a shaker mix with this. Let's see, I'm just going to add some sequins. Okay, so here's the finished card. I added some gold sequins, a little bit of white clay dots, and I added a little glitter to the centers of the flowers. I think it turned out so cute. That stencil looks really cool. I love the colors. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a big thumbs up. And I will be back tomorrow, 1 p.m. Central Time, for another reveal at 1 p.m. Thank you. Bye, guys.